you've probably went to the Webflow pricing page and realized that you have zero idea on what any of those pricing models is actually going to uh, be needed for your business. So in this video, I'm going to try to go over five different use cases and uh, for every single use case, which plans you're, you're actually going to pay. So the five use cases I want to go over in the video are if you're a small business, if you're a medium business, if you're an agency, you're a freelancer, if you run an e-commerce store, or and the final one is probably enterprise. So if you start with a small business, you're just going to need to pay for hosting. Usually you're going to start off with a monthly uh, subscription for the CMS plan, which is going to run you about 29 US dollars. That's going to be everything. So like you're not going to need to pay for a, for a workspace. You're not going to need to pay for anything else. You're, if you're a small business, you're just probably going to pay for the CMS. You're going to add a few of the people from your marketing team to the editor. You're going to start publishing blog posts, etc., etc. And like, that's going to be everything. Like you're going to gain the, like a lot more and you're probably going to save money because you're not going to need to invite developers and whatever, like after somebody developed your website or maybe you choose a template uh, or do it yourself. Like you're not going to need a lot of maintenance because the website is going to be in your hands. That changes a little bit if you start getting into the bigger, like uh, into, let's say, the medium business size. So on that front, I say you're probably going to be starting to transition like, like right here to the 49 a month plan for hosting. That's going to allow you to kind of have more CMS items, to have more collaborators um, and just to have like a lot more bandwidth on your website. And then additionally, you're probably going to start having some sort of, let's say, an in-house team or something like that. Just because like you might be working like some of the developers from your team might be working on the website or you might have an agency like us, like for example, Clone Ninja actually working on the website. And just because of that, you're probably going to need to pay for, let's say, probably, let's say the core plan for workspace for like probably three seats. So like uh, three seats for the core, core plan, maybe one for you, maybe one for uh, like a seat from our agency, uh, like for, so we can jump in and develop the website because you might be having some new campaigns, some new features and stuff like that, uh, continuously developing on the website. And maybe somebody else from your marketing team that is actually going to be using components to build out a website. So because of that, I mean, it's still like a little bit of a bigger cost, which again, like comparing to all of the other uh, things you're getting with Webflow, it's not going to be a big deal. And like, those are the, like, probably the few things you're just gonna need to pay. The things change a little bit, like if you're maybe running an agency or you're a freelancer. The great thing Webflow actually did is if you scroll down on the workspaces, uh, on, on the pricing page, I mean, to the workspaces and go to freelancers and agencies, you're gonna see if I'm a freelancer, you're probably gonna pay just $16 a month. And then like, if you're an agency, you're gonna pay 35 uh, per month, like uh, for, for, the plan, for the plans themselves. The great thing here is you can add more teammates, like the more teammates you have, the more, uh, like the more you're gonna pay per seat, but actually you're gonna get more seats for, I mean, for the websites you're developing, you're gonna get some additional CMS features. So you're not gonna need to pay for hosting when you have the website on staging on your side, which we had problems before. You're actually gonna be able to develop the website fully, specifically if you're on the agency plan, you're gonna be able to, I mean, add all, all of the features you need for your client and only then transfer it over to them. And then the client is gonna be paying for the hosting plan itself. Then. If you're running an e-commerce plan, um, like you're just going to need an e-commerce. Like I don't see a world where you need more than e-commerce. Uh, like if you're running an e-commerce store, uh, like sometimes if you have like a more like in-depth or more complex e-commerce stores, like because we've built like some e-commerce stores for VCs, etc., etc., you might need to step up and get like some of the in-house team uh, plans so you can add more developers to the project to work on it. But if you're maybe a smaller business, like a smaller e-commerce business or whatever, you're just gonna need one of these three pricing plans here on the page and that's gonna cover it. And then the final fifth use case is gonna be if you're an enterprise. For that, I mean, like you can reach out over to our agency, like on our contact form, you, tr you can reach out on our email address. But for that, unfortunately, I cannot give you the exact price because usually kind of we're setting up the price together with Webflow. So based off of that, feel free to reach out over to my email. Like if you need, like if you're thinking of building a website for an enterprise you're working with or like the enterprise, uh, like uh, your position is at. And we're going to be able to figure out what are the greatest features you can add to Webflow. There's many of the unique features that are, that are available on the enterprise plan. And you can figure out kind of on the uh, enterprise uh, site plan also. Uh, on webflow.com and just reach out with all the questions you might have. But the great thing is you're going to have all of the possible features you're going to need as an enterprise 
and a full support from Vaplow in transitioning from your previous platform. So I would love to hear what are your pricing kind of questions down below. And we're going to be running an active trade in supporting everybody actually choosing the right pricing plan for Webflow based on that. See you in the next video.